This is the heart of the van back system, if you like, which is uh, located in the roof in the centre of the tram. It's effectively a giant motorised variable resistor, or a double variable resistor. There's about there's 40 something contacts on each side, which are all linked through to a mass of uh, a large, I'm guessing, iron, typically iron resistors on the outside. Just zigzag elements all the way around each half. The contacts are operated by a kind of piano key mechanism where each of these levers pulls in to close a contact and depending how far round the contacts are that sets the resistance between that those taps on the resistor, resistor elements and the common outer metal ring there and as I say it's piano key style but rather than pushed the pulled each of these blocks is a large magnet and as the magnets move around controlled by the motor in the middle they pull the contact arms at the top and then release them to the pass again and they're pulled at the top they press the bottom so there's always two or three or more, three or four even, distributing the load. A lot of noise. And so changing the taps on the variable resistors. So whereas a normal traditional tram control has got what six or seven different settings for, for power, this has about 40. So it's a genius system and much, much smoother control and less jerk acceleration. Plus, it's a feedback system rather than being direct control. Which I'll just pause for a second to go to the other end. Okay, I should have said an end rather than the end. All right, this is the control ring cab one with the cover removed. Part of it has big, uh, just solid contacts, uh, lever operated, very much like the forward and reverse in a traditional controller. Just different sets of segments that uh, come under the contact wipers, depending on the forward and reverse lever settings. And obviously, no contacts at all. No. I think these are just more grease marks and I'm not sure if actually burns or not. If they burn, I could do a bit of cleaning. It actually shows up a lot more on the camera. It does uh, to a direct side. But uh, the really clever bit for the van back system is this arrangement around here, which is a big bank of Again, taps, resistors and contacts. And again, they're magnetically operated. The little moving contacts that pull down when a magnet passes underneath. And as long as the direction control is in a direction, the speed control lever or acceleration control lever can be moved. And that through a combination of, well, first of all, it directly operates a cam, cam switch down here, which set different contacts, depending if you were going to accelerate or brake. But also, for either direction, it operates a, a rotating magnet arm in there, which helps with the magnet in the main unit, pull different contacts and it goes round.
And that effectively, under, under running conditions, connects to one end of the motor. And that is a full potentiometer divider rather than just a variable resistor. But the other side, there is another potentiometer, but that one, rather than being manually controlled, is linked to a massive solenoid coil. Just turn around there, which you can just about see hidden away in the back there somewhere. And get to the right position. You see the yellow bit there? Similar type of coil to one of the big contactors. It's a big solenoid, which is current operated by, well, it's a tap across, well, it's a current or voltage, I'm not quite sure. It, it's effectively current sensing because it's connected across two of the motor fields. That pulls down this operator here, which operates a similar rotary cam at the other side of the mechanism there. And again, brings in different contacts as it turns. The two together form something like a kind of weak stone bridge arrangement. So if they're not in the same position, it puts a voltage onto the motor in the centre of the main bandback unit. So the driver controller here moves the wire from this side, which in turn will make the bandback unit rotate to give whatever current to the main motors is required until the solenoid at the other side uh, matches the position. So rather than just being a dumb uh, variable resistor control on the motor power directly, this is a feedback system that gives very, very smooth and proportional control. Uh, it's kind of load sensitive, so it'll track the uh, current demand to the motor and bounce it out against the driver's requested torque to give a you know, controlled acceleration. Um, you know, because there's so many steps, about 40 steps, um, the whole thing works very, very smoothly. And it's a genius system, which is unfortunately it's quite complicated. I think when it first came out, no one understood it, or very few people did. Uh, they didn't really know how to look after the things, which is a great shame. But this one is still in working order, and it just needs some minor maintenance to uh, hopefully get everything back to full use again. Anyway, that's it for now. Anyway, thanks for watching.